Is harmony about to break out or are we going to go through some more consolidation? That's what we're going to take a look at in this video. And of course, it wouldn't be a harmony video without an angel card. I'm Joanna Garzetti. This is Crypto Angel Network. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, for lighting up that bell so you get my notifications for your likes and especially your comments. So let's go and take a look at Harmony. For those of you who know me, you know that I am a fellow Harmonaut. And I'm just going to start off by sharing my screen before we go into looking at the charts. We're going to specifically look at the charts. Before that, I'm just going to take you on my coin tracker and let you know where I'm at and what I'm planning to do. So at the moment, I am, let's see, I have just over 70,001. My plan is right now, as of today, I will be getting another 30,000 one, just over about hopefully around 33,000. I want to be back at that 100,000 one level. And uh, at the moment, I am positive here, $1,800. And the price right now is 15 cents. This is in my coin tracker. And I want to just take you over to a, a positive piece of news of what I think supports this breakout. And you can see here on Harmony's Twitter that it is confirming, and this is part of their roadmap that they have achieved, Harmony brings everyone to second finality. If you don't believe us, check out the video below. And you can see Mafaz.1, who's a validator, says a demonstration using both a bits, bit, Blitz Labs wallet and Harmony Protocol wallet transfer 5001. The transaction time is two seconds. The transaction fee is 0.000025. One or in dollars, 0 0.000003. Why pay more? Why wait? So this is really exciting. And I will just click over to that and should be able to, let's see this video so we can just take a look at this. And there we go. You can see it happening in action here and it's two second finality. So that is exciting. We'll just take one more look. There you go. So this is very, very positive news for Harmony. And with that great news, I would think that we are going to start to move to the upside. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and take a look at the one chart. I am in Gate.io right here, which is, I love this exchange. It is my favorite exchange. If you're not already on it, you can use the link in my description below in the video description, and it will give you $90 in rewards when you use my referral link. So let's take a look here at the chart and just see what is happening. Let me just move myself there. And we are, let's go, we're in the 15 minute chart. And let's just, we're going to put some lines here. Let me just move this up here. Okay, perfect. So we're looking here at uh, roughly the past week. Let's go back to the 20s, so about four days or so. Um, remember, we had the bloodbath just over a week ago. And that is where we hit that low very, very briefly down to around, what was it, 7.97 cents. But then you can see after that, um, that Harmony bounced back very nicely. So let's just put some lines in here to take a look at where we're at. Let's start off with a horizontal line. And we're going to look at where right now, based on these past few days, is a strong line of support. And I'm going to just pull that up. And let's just go, I'm looking right around here. Well, let's just go it's pretty much right around, let's go around here. 12654, hang on, 12575, just wanna look at this. Let's just go up a tiny bit more, right there. Okay, let me just make this a little bit bigger and just draw this tool down here. Perfect, so as you can see, we have a pretty lot, a strong line of support here, right around 12 and a half sense. When we had that horrible bloodbath last week, the worst case scenario was we would go back down to around three cents. And that did not happen 
at all. Then we're going to zoom out afterwards. I always love zooming out because that just shows the potential of what's coming. And I'm going to tell you why I'm still very, very bullish on Harmony and why I'm about to go and get another 30,000 Harmony. Okay, so let me just go and do another horizontal line. And we're going to look at what is that resistance that we need to break through. We're going to go with that. A lovely red here and a nice, uh, let's go a little bit of a thicker line because that's what we have to break through. And you can see it's right here, right at the top here. So that line, let me just move myself. Let me just move myself down here. So we can see what is that number? We're so close to it. It's around 15, where is it? 15, 15247. So we're at the point where we're close to breaking out again that is what it looks like so we can see here there is this um, this consolidation that has been happening the past few days now let's go and put in our trend line to see what is happening and we're going to go from here so let's see we're on the 30th let's go there's this new bottom of a trend line here right from where was it? Yesterday around 9.30 in the evening, we can see that there is that. We were trending down, now we're moving up. And uh, I'm going to move this line right up to here. Let's just go, actually, let's just go to here. Let's follow this line to here. Let's go with yellow. So we can just look, we can evaluate what is happening here. And you can see that... Um, Let's take a look at this. All right, so it definitely, if we look from within this triangle here, we can see we did break down a little bit below that, but then we have moved back inside this circle and it looks like that we are, we are at that point where we could be breaking out today. So we're gonna to want to see, well, let's see in this time frame what's gonna happen in this next two, three hours. And that is a reason why I, I am eager to get my trade in because I just wonder this weekend, what is gonna happen with that? If we go to, let's just go to, um, let's just go to the, uh, let's go to the hourly here. And again, you can see this slight breakdown here. We're showing on the RSI indicator. It's not overbought. It is not overbought. When we were overbought before we went and tested up to that close to that 15 half cents got rejected. But we're not at full, you know, we're not, I mean, we're not really overbought right now. We don't have much volume. And so, I mean, I am thinking that there is, what is it? It's so hard to say, probably a 50% chance that we are going to move to the upside. If for some reason we don't break out, you can see right around 13 and a half cents, around 13 and a half cents to, yeah, 13 and a half cents, there is another line of support. So I'm actually going to just put another trend line in, another horizontal line in, and we're going to do that line as orange right in between and we're going to do that as not a thick line so we can just evaluate this way we can make smart choices when it comes to our trading of course this is not uh this is not investment advice you have to do your own due diligence i'm going to put that line in there and it's actually 13251 you can see that there is a higher low here that that the support is slightly stronger there. I'm going to just go more towards the downside than the upside there. So if we don't break out here, it's more likely that we're going to have this support over this next few days, two, three days at just over 13 and a quarter to 13 and a half cents. And if for some reason we break down below that, we're still talking very strong at 12 and a half cents. So now let's zoom out a little bit and let's just, you know, come back here and look at, see how do these lines, if we go back to April the 6th, you can see again that this line of support and line of resistance is very, tracks all the way back through the majority of April. It is mostly there through April, very, very strongly actually going all the way back to mid-March actually. 
And I'm just going to say again, because of that bloodbath, that was the only reason why we went below those lines of support. This happened and it was industry wide. Now, if we look at the really positive news, if we have the ability in these days ahead to break out, which I think that that news that we were just looking at about the two second transaction finality with the wallets that is exciting. Let's go and just do another. Uh, let's just do another show the resistance of what do we have to break through to really go through to the upside and we're going to go with we're going to go with red again and i'll just go with a ultra thick line and we're going to put that up here it's right here and that is at 24 cents so it's close to 24 and a half cents so if we're we're looking at that you know how fast this is going to happen now i know in my last Harmony video, I had thought by the end of April that we would be moving up to, um, we would have broken through and touched 30 cents and we haven't. And I I just think that, again, this goes back to things beyond what, what's happening market-wide where all tokens were impacted. And But I am still very bullish. I know that Bitcoin just tried to break through. There is a strong resistance at 57,000. But despite that, Harmony is bullish today. And I, again, depending on whether Bitcoin breaks out, will likely have an impact. But I don't think too much. I mean, my personal feelings, I don't think it's going to have too much impact impact on um, on moving it back down or going through a longer period of consolidation. I'm hoping that by the time we do a harmony, another, you know, a more extensive harmony update at the end of May, that we should be at 30 cents. We should be. I, I don't feel like I'm being Pollyanna-ish here. I just, I, I think it is very much within, uh, it is, that would be a healthy growth for Harmony that it, it's totally, totally doable. So it's coming. I, I know it's coming. And that's why my, for me personally, I, I'm going to add to my Harmony one bags. I'm going to have my 100,000 Harmony. I know some of you have a lot more. <laughs> a couple of you here have a million plus Harmony. And then I'm going to hold it. Now I know that, uh, as some people at you know there's there's uh, a lot of us here in crypto angel network community have more of a, a, uh, a preference towards hodling picking something going with it and hodling versus the day trading uh, and uh i do like cameron foose's uh cameron, cameron foose's videos but he uh, the other day did a video which he was quite negative about the market said everything was he thought it was going to likely collapse and that people who are in telegram groups, uh, he calls them, it did make me laugh. He calls them circle jerkers and says anyone that he says the uh, telegram groups for, for some of these, these groups, I guess, like harmony, like V chain, he didn't say them specifically, but where there is strong community that they're going to be empty. And I, I like Cameron a lot. I think he's hilarious. He's obviously a brilliant trader, but I disagree. I don't feel like Harmony community is just going to collapse. I don't think Harmony token is going to collapse or VeChain for that matter. I think they're going to go from strength to strength to the upside. So I am maintaining my point of view. I'm, 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 you will see as when you stick with Crypto Angel Network and you will see that I don't flip flop back and forth on my point of view. If I'm wrong with something, I'm going to admit it. And I will quickly tell you whether I'm, I'm buying something, selling something, what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to flip flop back and forth forward. We're going up, we're going down. This is working. This isn't working. That that's not what I do. I, I look at a, a longer term, a longer term strategy. And uh, unless I think day trading is great for if you've got thousands and thousands to be able to go in and out of a trade and make your gains, or if you're doing leverage margin trading, which I don't do. So there you have it. I uh, feel overall that we will move to the upside with Harmony. The delay has been that we had that bloodbath. I still believe we're going to move up our next price target is 30 cents. And 
I will be surprised if we're not there by the end of May. I'm hoping mid-May, but it, it's it's coming. I believe it's coming. So I will let you know when I've got my, when I'm back up at my 100,000 harmony. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Are you bullish? What are your price targets for harmony? And is there any other news that you know, because some of you here are validators, developers within the harmony community so drop a comment below thank you for liking the video for subscribing i'm joanna this is i'm joanna garzilli this is crypto angel network and i am sending you lots and lots of love